Welcome to Dodo, our ride hailing mobile application. To begin as a new user, we have to create a new user by entering the details on the left. These details include the user's email and their preferred password, then press the register button. After creating a new account, the user then has to enter the details to log in. Upon authentication of the account, the user would be directed to the main page of our application. At the top left of the app, we can enter the profile page of the user. This allows the user to edit their name, contact, email, country of residence. Most importantly, it allows the user to select their preference of spoken language, gender of the driver and willingness to speak to the driver. This information will be used later when looking for a driver. Additionally, a user can become a driver by simply pressing the button below, and uploading their driving license. Within the profile page, the user is able to view their reputation, these are basically ratings that both the driver and passenger give each other after their rides. The more option allows user to send feedback to the developers. Next we will be looking at how to book a ride. In the booking page, the application would determine your current location through GPS. This is reflected through the red pin on Google Maps. We then enter our desired destination. By pressing the button on the bottom right, a route from your location to the destination would be displayed. After all of this, the user would click the Done button, this then causes the application to look for potential drivers within the vicinity of the user's location, who also fits the user's preferences that was previously selected. The location of the various drivers are reflected on Google Maps, thus allowing the user to select which driver he or she would prefer. The user then would press the top right button to go to the next page to confirm which driver they prefer. Multiple drivers can be selected and ranked according to the user's preference. Additionally the user then selects the preferred payment method. For this example, we would be using a credit card as a payment method. After the user enters all the relevant details such as credit card number, name, etc., after the information has been validated to be correct and true, the application would then go ahead and book the ride for the user. At this point the ride has been successfully booked and this can be viewed through the Your Trip button. This would show you details of your current trip that the user has booked. Additionally, the four buttons on the left tells you information about your trip. The purple button shows you the current location of the driver and the route he is taking. The blue button shows you the license plate number, model of the car and the estimated time of arrival of the driver. The orange button is to allow the user to cancel the ride if the user requires. At the bottom right, there is a chat with driver button, which allows the user to communicate directly with the driver. The user is also able to schedule a ride for the future by entering the date and time of his preferred pickup and a ride request would be sent out to the drivers. Next we would be looking at the trip history in the menu. This option shows the user's trip history, green being completed trips, while red being cancelled trips. The user is able to leave a review through this page, a review may be in the form of a rating from 1 to 5, or even a comment. After leaving a review, the driver's profile will be updated and the updated rating of the driver would be reflected. The user is also able to leave a review of a trip that he has cancelled due to the driver's negligence, this is so that future users will be able to better filter drivers that are responsible. Users are also able to earn free rides through our platform. This can be achieved by referring their friends to the application to earn some credits for future rides. In the event if the user forgets their password, they can reset it by simply clicking, forgot password, followed by entering their email. An email would be sent through the database to request the user to reset their password. Once the password has been reset, the user can simply log in with their new password, 